I'm Jillian Raby and welcome to DT Daily. Coming up, the U.S. Navy's new laser weapon is ready for action, Portland and Uber duke it out, and if you're thinking about a new TV for the holidays, we can help. Energy weapons such as phasers, ion cannons, and laser blasters are science fiction staples, but bringing those weapons into reality has been more fiction than science. Until now. The U.S. Navy says their prototype laser weapon system, known as LAWS in Navy speak, is a prototype no longer, and is in fact ready for use. Mounted aboard the USS Ponce, the LAWS weapon system features an essentially invisible 30 kilowatt laser that so far has worked flawlessly and with near instantaneous lethality against all targets in all weather conditions, according to the Navy's Head of Energy Weapons Research. As such, the captain of the Ponce, which is currently deployed in the Persian Gulf, has permission to use the weapon to protect his ship. It costs about one dollar to fire the laser, and one sailor with a video game type controller runs the system. The law system is just one aspect of the Navy's very high-tech makeover, which includes stealth drones, seen here, and new stealthy warships, which will be fitted with the laser system over the next five years. The rise of citizen taxi service Uber has rubbed many city officials and traditional taxi services the wrong way. And right now, Uber has a fight on its hands here in our hometown of Portland. Despite being told to stay away, Uber launched anyway in Portland and the city immediately responded with a lawsuit. Drivers caught Ubering here in Stumptown face a fine of $2,200 and getting their car impounded, all of which Uber says they will take care of if need be. We booked a ride on Uber and talked to our driver about why he is bucking City Hall. He says he and other drivers are dealing with a city-sponsored sting operation to catch them. Really? If you use or drive for Uber, we'd like to hear your story as well, so leave a comment. TVs are always a hot holiday segment, and it's hotter than ever this year, so what kind of TV should you get? LED? LCD? 4K? OLED? Yikes! Don't worry, just turn to our TV Buyer's Guide. We've done all the legwork and picked the best models across a price range from a few hundred bucks to 10 grand. We've also got video reviews, tech term explainers, and more. There are some great deals out there, so before you plunk down your cash for that big new flat screen, make sure you're getting the most TV you can get for your money. And that's DT Daily for today. We'll see you again next week.